I want to add one thing that, that, I, that I think is intuitive, but it's very seldom pointed out, and that is people who make their living by grazing on public lands do not make a living by destroying the grazing properties on those public lands. So when you start out, when anybody starts out in the issue with the culture of somehow um, these folks are going to try to do something while nobody's looking to graze for another month or something like that, it's like if they destroy their allotment, they've just destroyed their source of income. Think about that. They give us 10 days to remove our cattle from the allotment. That is a process that in the fall of the year when the cattle want to come off, it takes us 45 days. Uh, the Argent allotment is 330,000 acres. Ended up, BLM found 14 head of cattle in a remote canyon that they trespassed us. It was basically an attempt on BLM's part to have documentation that we had failed in our attempts to run cattle out there. In the 30 years that we've been here in Battle Mountain, we've never had a trespass. But they said, uh, if, if you cooperate and you pay this, it'll only be a trespass. You'll pay the 3000 it'll be a trespass. But if you try to argue, and it will, it will become a willful trespass. And he said, that, he says it could be tens of thousands of dollars worth of trespass. Looking back, I'm sorry we did it. I think we should have told him where to stuff his trespass and, and walk out of there. Is that really working with the ranchers to, in that particular situation? Shouldn't they be given more time to do that? Certainly, in seven days is a, is a, a fair amount of time to, to manage your livestock and, and remove them if needed. But Even in a 150 square mile uh, allotment? Sure, the, the cattle are, are, are known positions. They're, they're known, to, they're, they know where they're grazing, uh, we know where they're grazing. Uh, that there's water sources that they'll uh, concentrate around, so um, the livestock, uh, an operator can certainly uh, manage his livestock and round them up. Uh, you can ride across this flat and miss a cow on what looks like flat ground. There's little draws and necks and valleys that you don't even know about. We had to bring them all home, bring them off the mountain, and bring them all home and feed them and, and try to find pasture for them which we found pasture for some of them. We hauled them all around the state. And then we had to feed the rest of them on, on dirt, on dry dirt in the summertime. And they didn't do real good. They're supposed to be out in the hills eating grass. And in the summertime, it, it, you just can't feed cattle on the ground. Feed them hay on the, it just gets dustier every day. They need to be born and bred here and, and learn the country. They have to know where the water's. You can't go buy new cattle every year and you would never make it. They would never make it in this country.